Hey guys, over the past few weeks I've been um, trying to put together like a some kind of end of the year video for bed reviews. Um, and I at first I was going to do like an outtakes compilation because there's a lot of like funny stuff and like interesting things that didn't make it into the final cuts for whatever reason. If it was a reaction video sometimes I didn't want it to be too long. Or um, there's like a story at the end of this that I felt like was too personal for just like everybody to hear. So I figured it would be good for something like this where really only people who like care are going to see it and I made part of like a best moments of the year thing and then like an outtakes compilation and then like just like a look back type video I really could not decide so um I just here's this here's bed reviews 2016 it's um it's really long so um don't consider this a real video it's just kind of like I'm just putting it up here just in case anyone is bored or something and you just or I like I doubt anyone cares to watch 25 minutes of like extra stuff but you know, who knows? And I already edited it, so I thought it might just be like a nice thing for some people. If you want to watch like something long, if you're if you while you're eating or something, I don't know. I don't know. I watch long stuff and I'm eating sometimes. Anyway, so I'm I'm being kind of quiet. It's like three o'clock. This is when I usually edit stuff because nobody's bothering me or trying to hang out or anything. Um, I've changed a lot. It I'm a lot meaner now, but I'm also a lot more. Creating this channel was easily the best decision I made in 2016. I really did not expect to have so many people on board with me so early. But yeah, don't feel obligated to watch this. It's just a ton of extra stuff. Um, I hope it doesn't like affect the channel negatively. Like YouTube sees this video and they're like, Oh, his last video didn't do very well. People didn't watch. You know, better stop promoting them. I hope that crap doesn't happen, but whatever. Thank you guys for such a great year. This was really a great first year. There's so much like there's so much to do, you know. I'm constantly overwhelmed with all the stuff that I need that I want to do with the channel. The people that are still here that are sticking with me through all this, y'all are awesome. Y'all are the ones that are probably the only ones who click this. Um and yeah, thank you guys for everything. Now would I sleep with her? Now would I sleep with her? Now would I sleep with her? Would I get in bed with this artist? 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 Would I get in bed with her? Would I sleep with this artist? That's a good question. And I, I think it is a valid concern and something to be addressed. He eats my toothpaste. This guy, I, he consumes it like it's food. Alessia Cara just commented on my Alessia Cara album review. I'm not joking at all. This just happened. What the fuck? Holy shit. What the fuck? I, I don't even... What the hell? Hang on. Let me read. I gotta read this shit, dude. I've got a decision to make here. Either react to the new Ariana Grande video or go to sleep because I've got an 8 a.m. class in the morning. <laughs> it's a marketing class anyway. <laughs> you don't ever use that stuff. Well, marketing is like pretty important. You know what she looks like? She looks like the the woman who leads the yoga at, at um your that's not even funny. So what, you guys like roast videos? You guys like videos where somebody who looks like me sits here and is mean? Fuck this artist. I want you to have this. I want you to have this. No! <laughs> Welcome back to Smug Motherfucker Reviews. Walking around with extra in my pocket, bitch, you flex. Walking around with extra in my pocket, bitch, I'm flex. Bitch, you guessed it. Whew. You was right. I can't even believe this shit right now, dude. What the fuck? I gotta, like, tell somebody. I gotta, like, tell people. Dude. 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 He said the term gay men. That's where he fucked up. You don't ever need to use phrases like that because people like this are gonna hear that and be like, oh, this is automatically, I'm automatically pissed off about this, you know? So there's butts. There's a lot of nameless ass in this. I've yet to see hers. God, I hate this channel. What's up, guys? The song is basically this fat, ugly bitch rejecting guys who approach her. Oh my god. I'm not a little kid now. Drink it big now. Spell my name on the fridge now. 
Would you bang Melanie Martinez? Oh my god. I'm gonna say a definite resounding no. I'm so serious when I say that too. Just cause, cause anything I've seen of her has been like dressed up like a doll. Is that what that is? I know she has a big gaff in her front teeth. We'll assume that she's as she is in the videos. Then yeah. Then yeah? No, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> it also depends on like how good this song is. Sorry, it takes me. This is a this this is like not an easy question for me to answer generally. I feel like does does everyone take this long? <laughs> <laughs> you're the first. I, you're the first. I'm dude. the first specimen. Yeah. I don't want to answer honestly. It's so disrespectful. It can be disrespectful. Hipster. She doesn't deserve the D. You've got to look past the baby <laughs> thing though. <laughs> yeah. Like you take away these god awful knee tattoos. Yeah. Then, heck yeah. The baby thing's weird. You're right. And you know what? I'd bang her too. I'm glad. Between us. You know what? Let's do it together, right? Now you're losing me, but we had something for a second there. <sighs> Fuck this artist. I should tweet and say, I'm soaking wet from this Lady Gaga album. <laughs> Maybe. Actually, that's fucking stupid. I'm definitely going to. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Impressed with my analysis? <gasps> you really can't write these things down. It's just, I mean, you, it's just inconvenient. That's why I type them. Oh, shoot. Now, if you're a Selena Gomez fan, you might be thinking, I don't know what you're thinking, because I'm definitely not one, but I'm gonna be kind of mean in this. Let's just read the lyrics, because I can't. That's, that's too much. None of the songs on here Ugh, the singing is flat. You're 19 and you haven't seen all the Harry Potter movies? This is the one where, uh, Snape gets involved. This album gets a 2 out of 10 for me, guys, just because the production was very well done. Alright, time to listen to pop music, because pop music makes you feel good. <laughs> Should I like, listen to it a little bit or skip it? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, let's start at the beginning. Okay. Time to unwind. No. <laughs> 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 Hang on, all right, I'm gonna skip back and I'm gonna just fall back out of the chair. That's that's the way. I, all right. Oh God! Oh no! Oh, stay with me, man. I'll put on some water or something. Ah, ah, ah. Have you interviewed yourself yet? Well, no, because I'm that guy. Would you have sex with Melanie Martinez? Yeah, I think I would. Okay, why? <laughs> <laughs> There's always a why. <laughs> oh, she'd, be, she'd be calling me afterwards. <laughs> she'd for sure hit me up. Oh, yeah. It's adult language. You ask. I don't like adult language. Sorry. Um, I would... Do you like adult language from child perspectives? <laughs> <laughs> I got the notification that said Alessia Carr commented, and I was just like, oh, it's a fan account. It's the fucking real <laughs> Alessia Carr, dude. <laughs> Did I say shit about would I sleep with her? Oh, I fucking did. I did say that shit. What did I say? <gasps> Dude, this is fucking hilarious now. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta chill out. Fuck this artist. I don't believe that her motivation was to stand up for smaller artists. It, um, with a name as powerful as yours, you can talk to the right people. You can meet with Spotify. They've been trying to contact you. Spotify is very publicly open to conversation about the subject. It's like particularly with Taylor Swift, they want her back. And I'm positive that if you were to get pieces of paper signed at record labels for artists and orchestrate an actual movement instead of just, who's with me, that would be more effective. I just don't think she cared that much about it. I've seen artists where they don't put the album on Spotify until three weeks after the release date. That works. People like it. Spotify's not going anywhere. The demand will always be there. People have gotten a taste of whichever song they want, whenever they want it, for free. That's not gonna change. If Spotify died, something else would crop up so fast. There's already awards set in place for most Spotify streams in a, in a given amount of time, recognized by MTV and other legitimate sources. Four words to describe this album. Confident, uplifting, new, Tory. So dad, how old were you when Donald Trump got elected? Um, I was 20. Oh, so, 
So, wait, so you did this? God, this man's fucking hair. I see people imitating it, too. I blame him for everyone that walks around with that fucking hairstyle. You know what? Can't beat him? Join him. Except you can't join a tripod that's not working, so we're just gonna... Dude, they're all so hot. Except for Fetty Walk. You know what I've never understood? People that are like, hey guys, back with a new video. Like, obviously, it sucks. It's trash. It's garbage. It's bad. It's a bad album. Bed reviews, you know, featuring Charlie Zero. I'm here, comfy, tucked in, about to. to shit. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Brush my teeth, did my homework. I'm <laughs> It's a disappointment all around. You can expect to see a lot of the, the body roll thing that she does because she can't actually dance. A lot of this action. I mean, an entire brand built around guilt. One billion views. Do you know how many views that is? That's a billion. Got him. Got him. There it is. There it is. What else? There it is. Okay, tell him. Tell him. Megan Trainer has been described as groundbreaking. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> no. Is that what you're going to do? No, but it just hit me. <laughs> oh. I'll be like, oh! <laughs> the end. Megan Trainer. Yeah. Donald Trump. In cahoots, dude. In cahoots. They're on the same legion. How many letters does Trainer have? <laughs> One. What are the first two letters in Trump's last name? T R. Okay. What are the first no. two letters in Megan Trainer's no. last name? Donald Trump. Granted, I voted for him, but that was to be what? funny. That, it was a joke. I really <laughs> entered it in. I did enter it in, but that was part of the joke. It's, it's easy. It's easy to listen to. You want to give your brain a break, you want to relax, and, and, and maybe do other things, make that sort of background music, or you just hate yourself. You hate yourself today. You should get like very, very close to my face. So it's got to be funny. It's got to be a little funny. Kill yourself. I see no reason for you to subscribe. This was Kelsey's idea. Thanks, Kelsey. Shout out. Shout out to Kelsey for the idea of doing this and all the material. What a great writer, dude. He wrote all our parts. Yeah, that was actually really good. Idea. Especially the really sexist things. <laughs> this is about to get so offensive. I'm not going to let it get to you. <laughs> Could pull a semi truck to those teeth. Thanks for tuning in. You're watching, um... Thank you for tuning in. You're watching a new segment called, um... Hey man, what are we calling these uh, album reviews? I have no idea. I'm in bed. Okay. I'm in bed doing this. Bed reviews? It's filming right now. See, so, yeah. You can call me your bed reviews, but I'm like getting in my bed. <laughs> like, I'm just laying down in bed. Yeah, the covers are like on me and everything. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how about this? Honey, come to bed. You're watching Bed On It. Oh, God. Brush your teeth. Do your homework and brush your teeth, because you're watching Bed On It. Sleep on it. I feel like that's one of the worst things I've ever heard. <laughs> this album, on the other hand, is one of the best things I've ever heard. We can make a little playlist for them. Bed On yeah. It. Bed reviews, whatever the, whatever the heck. All right, I've made the jokes. Um, as far as application, so, well, songs, okay, songs don't have force. Take that from me. The power of music extends to emotion and opening up conversation and dialogue. So instead of me saying, oh yeah, that is horrible, be sure to slap a like on it, don't forget to subscribe, um, and having somebody invent a new dance on my grave. I do have something I can add, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, um, but this is essentially the end of the video, so if you don't want to hear some like dumb shit about my past, then you can go ahead and move on. No, no offense taken, no harm done. Anyway, um, when I was a kid, I was like really short. Like, um, I was like the short guy, so before you got to know me, you knew me as the short guy. That was like who I was in school, that was my reputation. Being short as a girl is cute, like they can get picked up by their boyfriends and, you know, like cuddled, all that shit. Being, sh uh, being short as a guy is not cool. You're disadvantaged at sports, bullied a little bit, picked on and shit. Girls don't even give you the time of day. Girls want a tall guy that can tower over them and make them feel strong and everything. So you can be friends with them all day, but you're going to get shut down so fast every single time, every time you try it, no matter what. 
and you're and you're just thinking like I can't even help this. I would be such a good boyfriend. Like why don't we just? It's such can, like why why can't we just get past it? But nobody ever does. It's a huge deal. Girls even picked on me sometimes, which was like a whole other level of just like because girls don't pick on guys really. That's only if like they if they like girls would say stuff to me to try and impress guys that they were interested in, and I'm like. That just puts me so below the guys that they're interested in, you know, it's like a whole weird dynamic like that. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm proud of how I handled it. I didn't let it get to me too bad. Uh, I, I look back at young me and I'm like, that dude's a boss. Like, you know, he did a good job handling that. He didn't let the shit get to him or whatever. Because I'm a normal size now. Like, very recently I grew into like a normal size human. <laughs> um, I'm in college now. But to me, it's like whatever. Like these, it's like it was like a handicap. These are the cards I'm dealt. Let me live life. And a lot of people have it a lot worse. You know, I'll probably never have a wife. Whatever. Um, just focus. So I focus my time and my passion into getting good at stuff, building skills that people who had a good time were were not. They didn't. They weren't worried about because they're off on dates and shit. One time, my tip, my my parents took me to the doctor for like the annual checkup or whatever. Uh, and then they took me to another doctor that was like kind of far away and I was like, what are we doing? They were like, we're just going to another doctor for like a follow-up. And um, the doctor, you know, ran some tests or whatever and then uh, he, was, he was talking to my parents and he was like, yeah, we can fix him. And um, I was sitting just like in the waiting room or whatever, like the doctor's office and they were talking outside and I could still hear it. And um, he was like, yeah, we can, you know, two shots a month he comes in we essentially can we can essentially stretch him and I was like well, I was like what is this? what are y'all um, doing I, and when they they came back in and they tried to like explain it to me in like much softer uh, terms and like speaking it like it was like a good thing and all this and um, I just wasn't for it at all I just didn't like I, I didn't like any part of it I wasn't trying to be taller I didn't want to be better at sports. I didn't want to like, like, cause that's just not me. And the doctor said it was like a new thing. Like they hadn't tested it that much, but, and he didn't say this to me, but he said this outside the door to my parents and I overheard. He was like, yeah, you know, it's a new, it's a relatively new, uh, you know, operation over a long-term thing that, uh, you know, if you were, if you were willing to, then your son, if he were to be a test subject, then that would help us learn a lot about like the, the shots and all this. So it wasn't even like a, it was like potentially unsafe. And my parents were, uh, my parents came back in, they are like, so, you know, what do you think? We can make you tall. And I was like, no. And they were like, well, Sam, you wouldn't have to, you'd be faster, you'd be stronger. You wouldn't be getting picked on. You could, you wouldn't be getting um, rejected by girls asking them just to the dance. Like, because I would come home occasionally be like upset if like I asked a girl to a dance and she was like, yeah, I'm trying to keep my options open. It's just, it's not, it's just a dance. Like, it's, I'm not trying to marry you whatever, um, but my parents just like overruled me because I, I wasn't like 18 or whatever and they were like, yes, we'll do it. And I just remember feeling so like, oh, just fucking like alone, like just on my own because your parents are supposed to be the ones that like telling you you're a handsome young man even when you get a shit haircut or whatever and then both of them just like, I just felt like they just like abandoned me. Um, and I'll never forget that because that was like, a, that, I still see that as like a fucked up thing in my life that like almost happened. Um, I loved myself. I loved being short. Everyone else was like normal as fuck and I was different. And um, it gave me stuff to overcome and um, become stronger from it. Like I just looked at the positives. Yeah, people are being dickheads. Whatever. They're dickheads. That's gonna happen. Learn to deal with it. I remember one dude who would pick on me, he was like fat. And so when he would like open up his mouth, I'd be like, dude, you're fat as shit. Like take his pencil and be like, race me for it. And just you know, you don't have to be, you don't have to be the fucking, you don't have to be a loser. You can change things. You can work with what you're given. And I think that's a good mindset I was, that I was able to get through these tribulations or whatever. And, um, 